Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use Superbase with Replit. So by the time you watch this, they might have migrated to replit.com. So you probably want to head there and also fire up superbase.io um, and create an account there if you haven't already and a project. Then in Replit, we're going to start a new node REPL and we can call it Superbase Test. And so if you don't know already, Replit is effectively an IDE, um, an integrated developer environment. But the great thing about it is you can invite your friends and you can code together in multiplayer mode. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import Superbase. Um, and we'll import this method, create client from at Superbase slash Superbase JS. Now the great thing about Replit is if I just run this, Replit's going to run npm install for me and install the packages I need so I don't actually need to do that myself. So once it's installed, I can just start using it straight away. So let's do const superbase um, equals create client. And we need to pass two things here. Uh, as you can see, we need to pass the Superbase URL and the Superbase key. So let's go to Superbase, um, head to the settings API and grab the URL. Put that in there. And then what you want to grab is the Anon API key, this one. Put that in there. And we can just console log Superbase just to see that it is in fact initiated. And it looks pretty good. So before we start fetching data from Superbase, we actually need some data inside of Superbase. So what I'll do is go to the project. I'll go to the SQL editor on the side. And we actually have some example data sets at the bottom, which we can just use straight away. So we're going to choose the countries data set. This gets loaded in and we need to run this. And if successful, when you go to the API doc, you should see a pop up on the side. Okay, so let's see what's inside this countries table. We can go back here. We can just do superbase dot from countries select all. And let's just limit that to the first five rows and we can tidy this up a little bit like this and then when we get the result from the promise we can do then console.log and in case there's some error we can error log the error there we go we got the first five rows now if you don't like using dot then with promises we can also use async await so first we'll just create some main function that wraps all this and make sure we invoke it then we can remove the dot then and we can actually just filter out the parts of the response that we want. So we'll add a weight in here. And what we want here is just the data. And if there's an error, we want that as well. And then the first thing we do, we just say if error, then we can log the error and just return. But otherwise, we, for now, will just console log the data. And we get the same result. Now, if we want to do something more interesting with this query, if you head over to superbase.io, hit developers on the top, API reference. Then further down on the left-hand side, you can see all of the modifiers and filters that we can use. So by way of example, the EQ filter will do an equality match on a particular column. 
so let's just take out limit and we'll say so if we want just the countries that are in the continent Africa and now we'll just select the name and the ISO 3 code then we just get all the African countries here now to make this a little bit more interesting I prepared five challenges um, for you to get a better feel for the interface um, so these challenges are list all of the countries in Antarctica fetch the ISO 3 code of the country with the ID 3 list the countries with island in the name count the number of countries that start with Z or Q and fetch all the countries where the continents is null so I'm going to pause for a second and if you feel like it, give this a go. If not, I'm just going to crack on now and give the answers. So to get all the countries in Antarctica, we actually just change this to Antarctica. And there we have it. It looks like there's five, five official countries in our list that belong to Antarctica. And just to confirm that, we can change this to fetch also the continent. Now, the next one, fetch the ISO 3 code of the country with ID 3. So we say fetch ISO 3, change this to be ID, change this to be 3, super easy. And we see the result here. I actually don't know which country this is. So let's grab name just to see. Okay, Guernsey, makes sense. For number 3, this one's a little bit more challenging. It really shows the power of Postgres full text search. Now, Postgres is the database that we run at Superbase. And so you can basically use any Postgres functionality you want. And just to show the power of this, we're gonna select name and continent and use the like filter to say that we want the name to start with anything, have island and end with anything. And if we run this, we can see we get some cool results. Marshall Island, Norfolk Island, Solomon Islands, all the islands. And challenge number four is similar but different because we want to count the number of countries that start with Z or Q. And the way you actually do this is if we check the docs on the or filter, we see it's a little bit different. Let's copy and paste this line in. Because you pass the clauses as a string. So here what we want is that the name dot like starts with Z and ends with anything. Or the name is like starts with Q and ends with anything. And if we run this, we should see that we just get the three, Qatar, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Now five, fetch all the countries where continent is null is also slightly interesting because we're testing for this, for this null value. And to do this, we want to know is continent null and run it. And we actually get quite a few results here. So according to our database, Serbia has no continent. Questionable. Now there's tons and tons of these filters for you to play around with. And you really can do a lot of super powerful things. One more thing I'd like to just quickly show is this single modifier and the order modifier. So we'll start with order. We can just tag this on the end and we'll say order by name. And here we have the result. Now single when called on a query that returns multiple or zero rows will actually throw an error. Here results contain 13 rows, but we were expecting one. So if we say now we want the country where name equals Brazil, we'll see we get Brazil. Now the difference here is we didn't get returned an array. We just got returned the object. And you can see if I take the single off, we still get one result, but it's returned as an array. 
Now we saw earlier that Serbia apparently doesn't have a continent, but if we want to correct this data, we can get rid of this and we can say from countries update and then we pass an object with the new values that we'd like and in here we want to update continent to be Europe where the name of the country is Serbia and run this and you see we get returned the updated results we might also want to insert a new country so let's do name octarine grass country on the disk and submit this and uh, we actually get an invalid value because disk world is not part of the official continents of the world so we can pass in null instead and we also find out that the iso2 value cannot be null and I presume ISO 3, probably similar. So let's just give those OG and OGC. And there we go, we've inserted our brand new country. So hopefully you've seen here a quick and simple example of how to use uh, Superbase within Replit. If you head to github.com slash Superbase slash Superbase, then you'll also see that we have actually other client libraries as well so not just node not just javascript we also have c sharp dart and python available to use so you can also go into a python repl or a c sharp repl and try these out as well